A week or two ago, the news lit up with a new study warning that we're all drinking too much more than we should be and we're all gonna die earlier and be afraid. Let's talk you down. This is Healthcare Triage News. Let's go straight to the research. The study was in Lancet and it was a meta-analysis of like 600,000 people. They were from 83 studies in 19 countries and focused on current drinkers. Why? Because when you include never drinkers, you also get the people who used to drink a lot but then quit when they got sick and now they're sick and they sometimes die. And if you're not careful, this makes the never drinkers look bad when really it's the lots of drinking that's bad. This occurs even when people weren't alcoholics. Maybe they got sick for entirely other reasons, but we're told to give up alcohol and this makes people who don't drink look sick. Of course, this isn't the first study to do this. In fact, we had a whole other healthcare triage episode on accounting for this specific issue in studies. But this study set the baseline as drinking less than 100 grams a week or about one drink a day. They found that drinking more than 100 grams a week was associated with increased all-cause mortality. People who consumed between seven and 14 drinks a day had a lower life expectancy at age 40 of about six months. Those who drank between 14 and 24 drinks a week had two years cut off. If you drank more than that, you could lose four to five years. Of course, no one should be surprised that drinking that much is bad for you. It's alcoholism. But here's the rub. Current recommendations say that seven to 14 drinks a week is fine. And this study would argue that it's not. You're losing six months. Let me get this out of the way. Too much alcohol is bad for you. No one is arguing that alcohol is good for you. But this study has issues and it hits one of my pet peeves and more on that in a minute, but let's discuss the limitations first. It couldn't control for many confounders. Race is a big one, although they analyzed this in the appendix. So is socioeconomic status. You also can't ignore other dietary issues, exercise and other factors which are related to disease and mortality. And that matters. People who drink are different than those who don't and it's not all alcohol that makes the difference. That matters. By picking different covariates, you get massively different results. This has been shown statistically by John Awanitis and colleagues again and again and again. We'll put a link down below. A lot of this is modeling too. They didn't actually follow people out to death. They calculated relative risks, which again, relative. I don't know how many times I can do the relative absolute thing and then extrapolating it out over a lifetime. Then, and this didn't make the news, Beer and spirits were much worse than wine. And that's not because wine is good for you, it's because wine costs more, and this is likely due to confounding people who buy wine tend to be richer than people who drink beer or spirits. They also found that actually drinking one drink a day was better than less than that, and no one's recommending that. Why? Because this is more about messaging than science. My pet peeve, back to that, is that when it comes to nutritional science, we act like we really know a lot more than we do and that we're really sure when we aren't. And I wish people would stop that. When it comes to alcohol, too much is very, very bad. But there's a gray zone in there as to where the damage starts to happen. I bet it's very individual dependent and confounded by many, many other factors in an individual's life. People who tell you that they know where that line is don't. You're gonna have to use common sense. And make a decision for yourself. Do you like the show? Really helps if you subscribe or like us right down there. And while we've got you, another good way to support the show is a subscription service called Patreon.com, which allows you, the viewer, to donate even as little as a dollar a month to help make this bigger and better. It's always gonna be free, but any support you might be able to give us, we really appreciate. It. Go to Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage. We'd really like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz, Carlos Yergos, Crafty Geek, and of course, our Surgeon Admiral Sam. Also, while we've still got you, you can check out merch at HGT Merch. Com. There's lots of great stuff there. You can go to our Facebook page or our Reddit, listen to the podcast. And of course, my book, The Bad Food Bible, still on sale everywhere. Appreciate it if you bought a copy.